Here's problem 24. It says part of a marching band formed a triangle. So we have this triangle that's formed. Made of trumpet players on one side, clarinet players on one side, and flute players on the other. Then it gives us the angle between them and it says put these in order. Well this is just a triangle where we're going to, remember there's a relationship between angle and side. The smaller the angle, the shorter the side across from it's going to be. The bigger the angle, the side across from that angle will be larger because as you spread out, bigger angle, you can see the distance between my fingers gets bigger. So here's what we're going to do. We have trumpet players on one side. I'm just going to put T for trumpet players. Clarinet on a side. There's clarinet. And then flute. Flute players down here. Now let's look at what angles are formed. The angle formed by the trumpet and the flute. So this angle right here is 45 degrees. That's what it says right here. Measured 45 degrees. The angle formed by the flute and clarinet. Flute and clarinet is 68 degrees. Well, let's go ahead. So this is a bigger angle. I know the trumpet player, that's a longer line than it is for the clarinet. But what's this other missing angle here? Well, if we add 68 and 45 together, 68 and 45 together, we get 3, carrier 1, looks like 113. So to make 180, the other angle right here, woo, they made it close, didn't they? It's going to be 67 degrees. So I know this is the largest angle, and it says which orders the sides of the triangle from least, the smallest side, to the greatest. So the least, the smallest side, is going to be across from 45. So that's going to be clarinet. So it's going to either be A or B. We know C and D are out of the option. So it's going to be clarinet's the smallest. Then the next smallest, well here's the next smallest angle, is going to be the flute players. And finally, the trumpet players are going to be the most. So it's going to go clarinet, flute, trumpet. Boom, choice B. Make your picture, fill in the angles, and remember, the larger the angle, the side across from it's going to be the longer of the sides. There's problem 24 for you.